the rebels in the southern part of eastern Aleppo seem to have lost the last hope to hold the city. Having lost several dozens of districts within just one week, even the most zealous terrorists began to think about a way to escape. On December 8, mass media were receiving information that an agreement was reached between the Syrian government and extremists that allowed civilians to leave through special corridors in Al-Aziz district. And, when the road was opened, a huge influx of refugees flooded into the government-controlled areas. The endless river of people stretched over the entire road. Thousands of weary people were walking by us, led by the only idea of finding salvation on the government's territory. Many people are asking the same question, if the rebel-controlled areas are shrinking literally in hours, then where do the terrorists go? The answer is quite simple, many of those who realize the hopelessness of further armed hostilities are just shaving off their beards, putting on civilian clothing and trying to infiltrate, along with the civilians, into the territory which they were bombarding with mortars and hell-fired gas cylinders just yesterday. At the last checkpoint of the Syrian army fleeing people are subjected to initial examination. Soldiers are checking their backs for arms and explosives. But this method is not good enough to reveal terrorists. For this, covered agents are used. This civilian, who asked to keep his face hidden, agreed to disclose the rebels among the crowd of civilians. Many of those he knew personally. At this spot, a kind of temporary camp was organized by the Syrian army. All those who are saying that they are civilians but can be suspected in affiliation with terrorists, are brought here. Among these frightened people, genuine wild beasts are hiding. Just yesterday, under religious slogans, they were cutting off people's heads for a slightest doubt about sympathy to the government. All people here are former rebels. They escaped from the az district. These are members of Jabhat and Nusra, R. al-Sham and Nur al-Din al-Zenki. They were leaving the area along with the civilians. For now, we keep them here. Later, the Muhabarat will take them away. Some of them confessed immediately that they were in the terrorist groups. This man made a confession that just yesterday he was a member of a Nusra. And today, in civilian disguise, he joined a crowd of refugees. My name is Akamad Naomi. I was a member of Jabhat and Nusra. We were based in Salihine district. We ran out of ammo, and our commander ran away, that is why I surrendered. I shaved off my beard because I was afraid to be caught. My name is Zutar Bakri. I was in a Nusra too. I laid down my arms in hope for amnesty. I want to become a civilian again to end this war. Two years ago I joined their ranks. We were brainwashed, they told us that the government forces would kill us, that's why I joined them. Many others joined them because they were promised to enter the paradise with pleasures from hurries after death. In addition, every day we were given pills called gabcatone. As to the prisoners of war, we were cutting off their heads, but I did not kill anybody, only our commander did. And we all understood well about this person. I realized that Anusra is evil, so I decided to surrender. Most of the detainees are saying that they have nothing in common with the terrorists. And even those who were not in the ranks of the rebels, nevertheless, said they want to surrender. I was a soldier of the Syrian army, but terrorists captured my father and tortured him. Then, they put my mother to jail. She called me and said that if I don't join the rebels, she would be killed. They gave me two days. I requested a four-day leave from my commander and then deserted to their side. Then we arrived in our home, and my father punished me with bastinade, 80 hits for my desertion. We have had the desire to leave for quite a while, but they did not let us. I never wished to be with the rebels. I like the Syrian army. Today all our family escaped from the district. I make prayers to God that all goes well. Despite the fact that there are definitely a large number of rebels among the refugees, the clashes in the neighboring district of Sheikh Said are not stopping even for a minute. The terrorists are clinging on every house in this district. According to Syrian military, if they retake this district, Aleppo would be lost for the rebels. The Leva Al-Quds Brigade, with fire support of the Desert Falcons, is making a successful advance from the eastern part. The Palestinians started their offense from the crossroads on the circular highway. 
by noon. Despite the high toll, they have been able to reach the highway that divides this district into two parts. Unlike other directions, where the rebels have to fight in a defensive without prepared positions, here they have prepared an in-depth defense through which the attacking troops have to penetrate. After lunch, the Jerusalem Brigade fighters received an order to halt and fortify the lines that they have reached. If the Syrian army is able to crack this stronghold during the next few days, then the terrorists will have only two options, surrender or die.